The topic of this video is finding the maximum or minimum value of a quadratic function. Now before we look at the problem, there's something that I would like to share with you. First of all, we're talking about a quadratic function. That means it's a parabola that either opens up or opens down. If you're talking about parabolas that open left or right, then those would not be functions because they would fail the vertical line test and therefore are not under consideration in this section. Now, we're talking about a maximum or a minimum value. What part of this parabola is the minimum or maximum? Well, this parabola opens up, and so it has a minimum, and the location is the vertex. This parabola opens down, therefore it has a maximum, and the location is also at the vertex. So from this we learn that whenever we are dealing with a quadratic function, and we see an extreme word like minimum or maximum, greatest or lowest, highest or smallest, we're looking for the vertex. And there's a formula for vertex. The formula is opposite b over 2a for the x-coordinate, and c minus b squared over 4a for the y-coordinate. Or if you prefer, you can simply use this to find the value of your variable and then plug into your equation to find the value of the other. Okay, so let's go ahead and proceed. We have the following function, r of p equals negative 4p squared plus 24,000p. This is a real world problem, and that's why we're using letters other than x and y, but if you don't like the fact that there's r's and p's, you can rewrite it. f of x is equal to negative 4x squared plus 24,000x. By doing this, we actually gain some very valuable information, which is that x and p are the same variable for this problem, and r and f of x, which we know is the same thing as y, are the same variable for this problem. So p and x are the same, r and y are the same. So in our vertex formula, where we have an x and a y, what that's really telling us is p and r. All right, so now we should be able to answer this question. What unit price should be established for the dryer to maximize revenue, and what is the maximum revenue? We just have to plug in to our formula. So we can see that A is equal to negative 4, B is equal to 24,000, C is equal to 0, because there is no constant term in our function, and we plug all of those into our formula. Okay, so here we go, plugging into our formula. Let's start with the x-coordinate part. So opposite b over 2a. We're going to get negative 24,000 divided by 2 times negative 4. That's negative 24,000 divided by negative 8, which is 3,000. So the x-coordinate of our vertex is 3,000. That means that the price, p, is 3,000. And that answers the first question what unit price should be established for the dryer to maximize revenue? $3,000. Okay, so now we just have to plug in the A and the B and the C into this equation, excuse me, into this formula. Or if we prefer, now that we know that P is 3,000, we can simply plug P is 3,000 into here, wherever we see P, and that will tell us R of P or the revenue. Both methods will work. And since in a previous video I used the c minus b squared over 4a, in this video I will go ahead and plug in the p equals 3,000 into the equation. All right, so we have r of p equals negative 4p squared plus 24,000p. Replacing every p with 3,000, we get r of 3,000 equals negative 4 times 3,000 squared plus 24,000 times 3,000. Following order of operations, the first thing we have to compute is 3,000 squared. So that's going to be negative 4 times. 3 squared is 9, but there are 3 extra zeros in each thing, so we're going to have not, uh, 6 zeros here. 24 times 3 is 72, and we also have 6 zeros. 4 times 9 is 36, so we have negative 36 followed by 6 zeros. 
plus 72, followed by six zeros. 72 minus 36 is 36, followed by six zeros. So this gives us our revenue, $36 million. I'm choosing not to put the commas in my Y coordinate here so that I can avoid the confusion of having one comma representing the separation of the coordinates and the other uh, representing the separation of the place values of the number. Okay, so now we have the answer to the second question. What is the maximum revenue? $36 million. Okay, let's just briefly summarize. Whenever you are dealing with a quadratic function and you see minimum or maximum, that means you're looking for the vertex. This is the formula for the vertex. And when you plug in, you're going to get two coordinates, an X and a Y. They both have meaning. So it's really important that you understand which one represents which thing for any problem that you are solving.